Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your December the 20th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. I hope you're doing well this morning. Let's go ahead and get into that meditation. The title of the meditation for today is willingness to serve. We go from simply showing up and reporting for duty each day to a willingness to serve the greater good in the best way we can. That comes from our Living Clean book, chapter three, creative action of the spirit. A lot of us describe ourselves as having been spiritually asleep, bankrupt, or even dead before coming to NA. Some of us find immediate relief when we hear NA described as a spiritual program. We may not be fully willing to let go and dive into a new spiritual journey, or continue the one that we ha had been on before our addiction darkened the path, but the spark is there. Others of us do not take comfort in NA being a spiritual program. We may not know what the word spiritual means, especially as it relates to religious or not religious. It may not feel authentic, to describe ourselves as being on a spiritual path or even interested in pursuing one. No matter what our beliefs are or how open-minded we are to challenging them, we're all willing to some degree to show up for others. At the start, we report for recovery duty because we're following suggestions made by other members and because it's making us better meetings, steps, sponsorship, a service commitment or two. We build a support system in NA and we work on developing a relationship with a higher power. Our understanding of spiritual principles and how we're already applying them to our recovery expands. Our willingness becomes more expansive too. We continue to show up for our own healing and because we've made commitments. But our motivation to serve broadens when we follow suggestions to do so. A desire to contribute to NA and help other addicts slowly blooms within us. And we express it through service. This progress includes sharing about our awakening to the spiritual aspects of NA and our budding spiritual life. Most of us become willing to let go of our ambi ambivalent or negative preconceived feelings and ideals about spirituality. Let me repeat that for you. Most of us become willing to let go of our ambivalent or negative preconceived feelings and ideals about spirituality. Though we don't fully understand our transformation, many of us eventually can describe ourselves as spiritually awake, enriched, or alive in no small part because of our willingness to serve. I'm willing to show up for my own well-being. Am I also willing to do that for the greater good of NA? How will I demonstrate that today? Let's take a moment of silence followed by the third step prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Third step prayer. God, take my will in my life guide me in my recovery. Show me how to live. Clean, right? Just for today. We add that last piece there, right? Show me how to live clean. So here we are, we're talking about willingness to serve and how being willing to be on a spiritual path, whether we define it as such or not, is really what Narcotics Anonymous is all about. We talk all the time about it being a spiritual program and not a religious one. But a lot of times we still in our minds are equating it with 
religion. And because we are doing that, we have a resistance to being a part of it or allowing ourselves to do any service work. At some point in time, I, I hate to break this to you, that at some point in time, you will need to concede to the fact that this is a spiritual program. Whether or not you understand the word fully is irrelevant. It, it's nice if we understand it, but from the moment we decide to put the drug down and surrender to the disease of addiction and pursue a life of recovery, our spirits begin to go from a negative direction into a more positive direction. Now, just how far we're willing to go in the positive direction may mostly depend upon us, but not completely. Not completely. And so what am I saying about this first paragraph here? I'm saying that not that it's irrelevant, it's just not required for me to understand the word spiritual in order for me to benefit from this spiritual program. It's not required that I have a complete understanding of it. I mean, I must want some of what it has to offer, otherwise I would not have stopped using drugs and found Narcotics Anonymous to help me right? Some people struggle with this, but I just want to say to you, I did too. I did. I did because I could hear sometimes. It seems like every time someone said the G word, God, every time my mind immediately went to the religion that I was raised in. And I would try to sort myself out as they would be sharing. And I would ultimately come away offended, negative, pessimistic. I this Y'all said it's a spiritual program and not a religion. That share was so religious. I didn't come here to be converted. I was, oh, I was something else. But at the same time, as conflicted as I could be, I would say I'm a spiritual person seeking a spiritual path on my own spiritual terms. I just wasn't willing to let other people have their own journey as well. But that's not right. That's not fair. That's not goodwill. That's not what Narcotics Anonymous is about. From the moment I stopped using, my life started to get better. My spirit also got to got to getting better as well right it was a privilege and I say got to in the sense that it didn't have to happen that way I was given the gift of desperation and I had the opportunity the honor the pleasure right <laughs> the sweet pleasure of embarking on the spiritual journey and I've not turned back there may have been some lulls, some plateaus, but I've not turned back to using drugs, right? And nor do I think that I ever will. Okay, so now we're moving out of this, um, this second paragraph that no matter what our beliefs are, we're somehow open-minded, right? We're open-minded to the fact that our spirits can get better, whether we use spiritual principles or, or talk about using that term, we're invested enough to be on the journey and we're benefiting from it regardless to what words we use to describe it. And over time, I, I like this because it talks about a promise that if we allow ourselves to be on the journey, we will expand. Things will broaden out for us. And we find ourselves no longer 
self-consumed with just how we perceive things. Now we want to make sure, and I'm almost in tears when I say this, so I'm going to wrap it up. We find ourselves wanting to make sure that we carry the message to the still suffering addict. And we find ourselves signing up for service in ways that we thought we would never do. And we find that we're enriched. We are transformed. Our lives are improved as a result of service. And that unselfish part of us is the very fertile ground for new heights, new depths, new levels of awareness to be birthed in ourselves. That's huge. And I just want to recommend it to you. Yeah, a soft suggestion to do service work in any kind of way that you can add to the atmosphere of recovery, I ask that you just do that because lives are definitely at stake. Oh, the work will get done with or without you now, right? The work will get done. Our rooms are full of people that have been given the gift of desperation that want to express their gratitude by showing up and reporting to the duty of recovery and giving of themselves. So the work will get done, but it would be so much sweeter with you than without you. My name is Maddie Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that you have a beautiful day on purpose. I plan to talk to you tomorrow.